welcome back to my channel we have an amazing math question to solve so in this question we are asked to find the area of the shaded portion okay first um this is a right angle triangle as we can see excuse me there is a right angle at point a so area of a right angle area of a triangle so area of triangle abc is equal to half multiplied by the base multiplied by the height that is formula for area of a triangle therefore area of triangle abc will be equal to half multiplied by so if we should redraw this then we should have something like this okay whereby this place a is our right angle right so if that happens that means this place is c and this is b so we are going to have something like this so you can see that ac is 2 and ab is 2 as well so this becomes uh what bc is a uh, hypotenuse now let's call bcx okay so that means bc is a uh, hypotenuse all right now the base which is ab so half multiplied by ab multiplied by the height is ac multiplied by ac so if we solve for that we have area of triangle abc will give us half multiplied by ab is 2 and ac is 2 as well okay solving for that we will have that so we divide two so we are left with just two so it means that area of triangle abc is equal to two units squared two units squared all right now if we decide to drop a straight line from a to cut this triangle into two all right if we decide to do that then i want you to note that ax um a whatever is here let's call this point point n okay a n is equal to the radius the radius of this circle now remember that this place is what our x now a n is the radius of this because you can see that what we have inside there is a quarter circle all right and a n is the radius of this quarter circle please the drawing is not drawn to scale all right so we can call this r please hit the subscription button and turn on your notification bell if this is the first time you are coming across my video give us a thumbs up if you love what we are doing and always tune in at your convenience there must be something new for you to watch by god's grace thank you very much now moving forward we have that a n is our radius but before that since angle a b c triangle a b c is a right angle triangle in triangle a b c or considering triangle a b c using the pythagorean theorem using the pythagorean theorem Using the Pythagorean theorem, we'll have that AB squared plus AC squared is equal to BC squared. So we have AB squared plus AC squared is equal to BC squared. Now both are what? 2 squared each is equal to what ac squared bc squared that is x squared now solving for that <clears throat> we have two squared is four two squared is four is equal to x squared so what we have is eight is equal to x squared now moving forward moving forward if we take square root of both sides take square root of both sides 
square root of both sides. If we take square root of both sides, then we will have square root of 8 is equal to square root of x squared. Square root of 8 can further be simplified as square root of 4 times 2 is equal to square root of x squared. So we note that square root of AB is the same as square root of A multiplied by square root of B. Okay? Therefore, we can rewrite this as square root of 4 multiplied by square root of 2 is equal to, now this we remove this and we have x. So this will give us square root of 4 is 2. So we have 2 root 2 is equal to x. All right. So 2 root 2 is equal to x. It simply means that with this line, a n, this part will be 2 root 2 divided by 2, half of it, right? And n c will be 2 root 2 divided by 2. So permit me to now write that from here to here is... 2 root 2, 2 root 2 divided by 2. And when you do that, you have root 2, right? So it means that here is root 2, and here is also root 2. Have you subscribed our channel yet? If not, please go ahead and do that so that you don't actually forget, okay? So I'll write this, the area of triangle ABC is equal to 2 unit squared okay so now we have that bn is root 2 and nc is root 2 as well now let us draw part of this triangle out so if i should draw out half of it so i have a i have n and i have c and AC is 2, NC is root 2, AN is R. We don't know the value. Definitely here is 90 degrees because it's a straight line, right? All right. Now, using Pythagorean theorem, using Pythagorean theorem, Then we have that 2 squared is equal to r squared plus root 2 squared. Okay? Now 2 squared is 4 is equal to r squared plus this, we remove this and we have plus 2. If we transfer to to the left hand side of the equation we have 4 this we cross to become minus 2 is equal to r squared so 4 minus 2 we give us 2 so we have 2 is equal to r squared so to get the value of r let's take square root of both sides so take square root square root of both sides so if we do that, we have root 2 is equal to r squared. Now this, we remove this, we have that r is equal to root 2. So we replace this with root 2. Now where am I heading to? Why did I need to get the value of a n? Now remember that they are, we are asked to find the area of the shaded portion, right? If that is the case, now area of the shaded portion, let me call it AS, should be equal to area of this whole triangle, right? That means area of triangle ABC minus area of this, this is what, a quarter circle. So area of this quarter circle, area of the quarter circle. All right, now we already have the area of triangle ABC, remaining the area of 
the quarter circle. Now, area of the quarter circle, area of a circle is pi r squared. Since we are talking about quarter circle, we should multiply this by what? 1 over 4 r squared. So the area will be pi multiplied by, now our radius is what? a n, which is root 2. So we have root 2 squared multiplied by 1 over 4. Now this will remove this, right? Yeah. So we have this to be equal to 2 pi divided by 4. And when you remove this, you have pi over 2, which is equal to half pi. Right? Now, this happens to be the area of the other circle. So half pi unit squared. Therefore, area of the shaded region will be equal to area of SVC is 2. So it's going to be 2 minus area of the quarter circle, 1 over 4 pi, all in unit squared. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video.